Alright guys, I'm going to make another tutorial for you guys, except not on collisions, we're going to do uh, triggers. So, we'll say uh, box trigger as a script name, I need to make a C-sharp script. Uh, we're going to add a game object, and it's going to be a cube. Now we want to take this cube, and we'll name it trigger object, and we'll move it. Um, here, let me put this here. So we'll set it, we'll reset its position. Yep. Uh, we need to go up 0 0.5, so it's not in, what? 0 0.5, so it's not in the ground. We're going to pull it out here and this way. And then, um, we'll size it up. So... We'll do like 3, which means we're going to need to adjust this to 1.5. Um, 5, 5. So you see, that's a pretty big box. It's kind of hard to miss. Um, and we're going to, we'll leave the mesh on it just so you can see for this example. We'll make it red because it's not intelligent. Uh, like that. Uh, like in my other tutorials and let's see so you want to add a component go under physics um actually I don't know if this is how you do it or not maybe you don't need a rigid body so you don't need a rigid body you need the box collider set it to is trigger set it to true and that's the most important thing so now it's a trigger and basically let me show you you try to walk through it it has no collision detection this doesn't even have a collider on it in the first place um, our AI here does if you remember that's why we can't walk through them we can hit this ball and it'll move elsewhere as you can see um, up here but this being a trigger and all we can walk right through it which is fantastic that's what we want and then we'll take our box trigger script and stick it on here um, we'll turn off use gravity on our bouncing sphere that's how we're going to show that the trigger works so we'll turn off use gravity and we're going to access this bouncing sphere from uh, the script we're uh, making um, for the box trigger. So we'll name this, we'll make a tag for it. And you just go, uh, you click on your uh, bouncing sphere. That's what we want to put a tag on. It says untagged. You go here, add tag, press the plus, type in bouncing ball. Or you know what, we'll just do BB for short. So uh, that didn't put it on there though. So you gotta go back and click on BB. So our bouncing sphere. I was gonna name it bouncing ball. Great. Anyway, now we need to open up our new script called box trigger. And if you have not stuck that on your trigger object yet, which is our box here, um, do so now. And just like collisions, there's also a uh, void on trigger enter, and then you can uh, you need to set collider col. See, I tried to use a uh, collider last time, and in here it was actually collision. But for triggers, it's collider. You need to get the collider. And we can access that collider by saying col dot get um col dot game object dot tag. Well we should put this in an if statement. If col dot game object dot tag equals equals player which means 
is your player here whatever player you have you need to put the player tag on and that'll uh, see if the object that's colliding with the trigger which would be our player or players colliding with the trigger it's not colliding it's entering the trigger then uh, obviously it'll it'll run true so this is where we're gonna mess with our bouncing sphere since we turned off use gravity on the bouncing sphere we will type in game object with capital letters for game object dot find with tag and we'll use BB and since we only have one BB for bouncing ball or bouncing sphere in the scene that's all we need dot get component and we'll say rigid body dot use gravity because that's what we set equal to false manually and then we'll set it equal to true and keep in mind with triggers you also have void on trigger stay which is set up the same way except on trigger stay uh, runs true if you're still inside the trigger and then you got void on trigger exit collider call and obviously when you exit the trigger this will run uh, this one's actually useful all three of these are useful unlike the collisions I don't see the collision uh, collision stay and collision exit to be as useful anyway so basically as soon as we walk into the trigger this line of code will run and since we're finding the game object that has uh, this com uh, not that component since we're finding the game object that has this tag and this is the only one it's gonna go straight to this rigid body and use gravity is gonna be set to true and then it'll begin to fall. Obviously, once you enter it, there's no way to disable use gravity. I suppose uh, you could use the on trigger exit and set use gravity equals the false through there and it would stop bouncing, but we're not worried about that. It's a simple tutorial. So I'll show you. As you can see, the ball is not bouncing, but I walk inside the trigger. Great. <laughs> it doesn't work. Alright, where did we go wrong? If cold at game on check not tag equals player. So we have it set to player. That's weird. One trigger enter. Cold our collider coal. If cold at game on check. Alright, you know what? We don't even need that to be honest. If nothing else is moving, you don't need it. So that should be fine. So now if anything enters that trigger, the ball should bounce. And there's our problem. So obviously it's not finding this trigger. Alright, it's not finding the sphere. So tag is bb. Game object dot find with tag bb dot get component rigid body. Set use gravity equal to true. Well, that's strange. Why does this not work? Because we find the game object with bb. Okay, well there's another way we can do this. We can say public game object bb. We'll just make it simple. So we remember, and then we'll go inside the trigger object. Maybe that's the problem. No? Well, that's strange. 
Or maybe once I had gravity. I didn't even see if gravity was added or not. Who cares? I'll put the bouncing sphere here. And then we'll just say EB dot kit component quit go away EB dot get component rigid body use gravity equal to true does it have any issues with that no it does not good so now if I walk in here oh I know the issue my player what okay so I know the issue uh, well, maybe I don't. The AI has a capsule collider. He's untagged. But we also have a collider on our player. Does he just have to have a rigid body or something? That would be really stupid, but it's possible. How come the uh, AI can set it off, but we can't? Oh, now we can. Is that really a thing? Because that's really stupid if that's the case. We re remove the rigid body. Does it work? Okay, so I just learned that. We learned that together. You must have a rigid body in order to enter a trigger and make something happen. Why? I don't exactly know. I think that's pretty stupid. But, uh, yeah. Oh, my player slides too? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. This is why you add drag. See if you set it to one player, stop sliding. That's weird. That's really stupid. Anyway, wasting time. See you guys.